Okay, so if it's not the case, we can go ahead and um, the following. Let's find out if the GUID exists and I need a... I made a bool for that, I guess. Bool is GUID. String this GUID equals h v id grab okay okay um using hvid grabber hvid dot get machine uid so we're getting this uh machine uid uh, i was thinking i wa i didn't have a loop for looping through but I have here it goes. That doesn't even make sense because we ask is it the GID and we return false if it's equal, it should be true. Anyways. This is the worst problem right now. The the most problem is like getting through this time we already have 22 minutes. The editing will be taking a damn long time. I see that coming. And if we didn't find find anything, we return also. Uh, if it turns out uh, nothing of these, it wants a return true. So the whole thing works logically this makes sense so let's get back to mm, I had to get file names also uh, private static string array get file names string path and I don't know if I have the path anywhere I have I guess I just don't remember what we coded here uh, from true string from the last tutorial that's the problem string files equals directory dot get files path Okay, I, I hate when this happens. I, okay, there we go. Uh, get files. Huh? For int i equals zero. I is less than files dot length. Let's continue with the is GUID thing. This GUID, if it's not the GUID, then basically if it's used, let's say that message box show your. Okay, so else, get another else, get the serial doesn't exist and we don't have that in our rec form design so make it bigger tiny bit and I need one for the machine GUID okay that's wrong I need one for the machine GUID make it bigger okay and this we make it read only because you don't want to change the machine GUID which it grabs can't find it we don't true okay register there you go wow tons of text boxes that's cool 
serial text. Oh, I didn't call it serial text. Yes. Now it should uh, work. Yes. Uh, serial exist doesn't exist. So we need to make a serial exist. <laughs> Uh, public bool again serial exists string key so we're looking for a key here ah therefore oh no no or did I yeah I did it uh, therefore I am getting I think I'm getting the file names therefore yeah and I totally do so string current key like something I, I call it ages to have something and uh, not a null string array serials is uh, the serials we have and we get the file names and the path will be data Serial. And that's what I made it for. And for and i equals zero. Current key is null. <coughs> I plus plus. There we go. This is the for loop. And the microphone is really annoying, like always, for typing, but... Uh, yeah, try. If it's equal to one of the i's, serials. Uh, if the current key equals to key and what's key what do I, oh yeah 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 if the current ah oh, yeah yeah okay i understand so we're getting a key which i typed then we're um this is the current key it's always one key from serials basically the i uh, the the order place or the place in the array uh, each key has a place so the current key we have right now if it's equal equal to the key I type then it's a true and if not then it's a false and of course we delete the file as I said the key is used it's gone from the list otherwise you could have multiple users uh, registered with the same key and we obviously don't want that to happen current key return a true uh, this is it um, we do next uh, we exit uh, Try and catch an error, any error exception, which means false. So since somebody types nothing, we don't want to get him an error, we just go false, straightforward. False, false, okay, that's nice, of course, double false, but do it like this. Uh, go here, if the current key equals now then we're finished with the file return a false so this is basically when we are finished uh, looking for it if it's null uh, if it's since this is continuing this is outside the loop that doesn't make any sense then it doesn't Ah, the loop ends anyways. 
I don't know why I did this. We, this is really unnecessary because this is like a double, double trouble thing in here because the loop ends when the current key is null. So if it's found, it's true. And else, okay, so we'll just return a false because it's want, it, it wants us to return a false outside the loop. So here we save some code and this should be working, I hope. Maybe my brain is just away AFK from keyboard and I'll mess stuff up. But anyways, let's uh, hope it's all right now because it's not easy to have an overview on this and I want to really get done because I have a lot of things to do and other tutorials to make. Serial key is invalid. The serial key is invalid, my friend. If it's not invalid, we can do the whole thing from here. But what we do else is we not just right line this and this, but we also right line the HVID. And I guess I didn't make an HVID string here, but I'll do it here, HVID, string HVID equals win AP. Okay, what did I call it? Nothing. I called, uh, in my notes I call it, uh, told myself to call it win API, but I call it HVID or say lock HVID for local HVID lock HVID txt text okay and of course the serial key which I used which I used to make the the serial no the the law as a account. We also need that. Clean. Looks really clean, I hope. Okay, this was the hardest part I guess. We now need to do the rec form. <coughs> And for a strange reason, now it's different, but here I call it SGID and in, in the, uh, this year uh, I wanted to call it, which one? I wanted to call it uh, is is HVID. Okay, we, we'll call it is uh, GID because we called it already. Read string read GID. So I call it simply GID, not HVID here because we called it here is GID. If read a GID is equal equal to HVID HVID okay this makes sense we need oops we need this on top of here HVID get machine GID return return true. I'm getting my HVID here and if it's equal to the machine GID of my computer it returns a true. That makes sense. So it is the GID. But on the other one it, it didn't make sense.